Hello friends. It is the version 3 of RFID based attendance system. When a student scan the RFID tag, then his attendance data will be recorded on the Google Sheets. And a success message will be displayed on the LCD. You can download the code and the wiring diagram from my GitHub account. You can get the download link from the video description. Next, here is the wiring diagram. Make sure you must power the LCD module using V in pin and power the RFID reader module using 3.3 volts pin of the node MCU. Next, I have already connected the LCD and RFID reader module to the node MCU. Make the connections carefully as per wiring diagram. Next step is to store the student data on the RFID tags. So, open the student data.ino file from the code folder. And then just upload the code without making any change. And then open the serial monitor. We will use the serial monitor to save the data on RFID tags. So, bring the tag closer to the RFID reader. Here you can see the tag is detected. And below you can see the message, enter student ID, ending with hash. So, I will enter the student ID here. Make sure, you must have entered the hash symbol at the end. And then press enter key. The student ID will be stored, on the RFID tag. Below, you can see the next message, enter first name. So, I will enter the first name. Then hash. And then press enter key. The first name will be stored on the RFID tag. And below, you will see the next message, enter last name, ending with hash. You must do the same process again and again, to store all the data on the RFID tag. Now I have stored all the data on the tag. To store data on another tag, you need to reset the node MCU, by pressing the reset button. Now the project is ready to store data on another RFID tag. So I will quickly store the data on this tag. You can repeat the same process to prepare as many tags as you need. Next step is to create a Google Sheet. Here, create a blank sheet. Here, enter the column names to store the incoming data from the project. Next. Click on extensions. And then, app script, the script editor will open. Here you will need to enter some code. So go to the code folder. Here, open the script.txt file. Then, select and copy all the code. And then, paste the code in the script editor. Next, here you need to enter the sheet ID. You can get it from your Google Sheet. The highlighted part is the sheet ID. Just copy it. And then, Paste the sheet ID here. Next, enter your country time zone here. And then, click on save button, to save the code. Next step is to deploy the code, by clicking on new deployment. Here you just follow the steps, to create the deployment ID. Now the deployment ID is generated. You just copy it. It will be used in the code. You just open the RFID attendance.ino file from the code folder. Here first enter the deployment ID that we have copied before. Next, enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Then below, here you need to enter your Google Sheet name. You can get the sheet name from the bottom right corner of your sheet. Make sure you have added the correct sheet name here. Now the code is almost ready. Before uploading the code, make sure you must have installed the ESP8266 board, with the version 2.6.3. Next, you need to install MFRC522 library. You can install it from the library manager. The last library you have to install is HTTPS redirect library. This library works perfectly with Google Sheets, without any HTTPS connection failed errors. The library is available in the code folder. You can install it using the add zip library feature. Here you can see the library is installed. Next step is to upload the code on node MCU. 
Next, let's test the project. The project is first connect to your Wi-Fi router. And then it will try to make a connection with the Google Sheet server. If the connection to the server is successful, then you will see the message scan your tag. So let's scan the RFID tag to see if the data is posted to Google Sheet. Here you can see the data is posted successfully. Let's scan another tag. As you can see the project is working fine. That's all. This is for today. If you have any question, then comment below. See you in the next video. Bye.